Hi everyone, this is Constance from Create the Memories. I have a little journal I want to show you. I'll try not to hit the table too much so it won't shake too much. I call this my um, heart steampunk journal and it's pretty chunky. There's a little clasp on the end here with some charms which does come off. And I will just show you the spine. It's all hand done. The texture of the spine, um, it's tissue paper uh, effect. It's supposed to be like a leathery look and I think it looks pretty good. It's got a very nice tactile feel to it. And these are all polymer clay embossed uh, items on the top. Like I said, the charm, it will come off if you find it too bulky when you're writing in it. Um, but there's a clip and of course can't do it one-handed so I gotta sit down. Okay, make sure I'm still in frame. Yep, still in frame. Um, the lock on it is like a box lock so it's very secure um, latch. Uh, this part is made with leather. It's a recycled um, duffel bag. It was my husband's duffel bag. So this and the spines are, uh, edges here are all reinforced with leather. So you should have no problem with wear and tear on them. I'd just like to do a quick flip through. There is a pocket here with some journaling tags, a little bit of sewing, not too much sewing, I just got a sewing machine so it's um, just starting to do a little bit of sewing in some of the journaling. Um, lots of paper, there are five signatures in here, I'll put a page count in the description, I can't remember what the page count is. Uh, all coffee dyed with a lot of doily impressions and some steampunk stamping done on the pages. Lots of little pockets. These are flip outs and tuck spots. This is an altered playing card. It's an Al Capone playing card. Um, and it's gessoed on this side so it can be written on. And then on this side, there's another little pocket there. And key, some doilies, a chandelier stamp. Um, index card, another tuck spot there. This is a uh, note, a uh, thank you note type of a note, and they're all coffee dyed as well. Um, all through the books I've put my uh, altered paper clips. Um, I can't remember where I learned how to do these. I did them a long time ago, um, and I have a bunch of them, so I kind of throw them here and there into the books. So this one has five, one for each signature. Um, and they're all just a little bit different. Um, a little clock stamp. This is a little uh, paper holder. Um, and it's embossed with the clock, the steampunk clock. And then there's a shipping tag with the coffee dyed with the doily impression on it. And of course, it's kind of fight me because I'm on camera. There we go. That one goes in there. Um, notebook paper. Um, this is a notebook I found at a winner, local winner's store and they had lots of really cool paper so of course what I had to do was buy it and take it apart and add it into journals. Um, I really like it. Um, little eclectic owl. Some journaling cards. A little scrap journaling you can write on. It's an old uh, envelope which opens and there's a journaling, a journaling card in there. A little stamping, a little doily with some cardboard for a tuck spot. Journaling card in here. Another one on this side. And in every signature in the very middle, there's an envelope. And the envelopes all have a little bit of uh, product in them. This is a little note card. I haven't put paper clips on the envelopes, but they can easily, you can put a paper clip here. 
And then some more steampunk stamping. Another envelope recycled. Another journaling card in here. Um, just some uh, die cut. There's some dictionary print at the back. Some more music sheet, more die cuts. Um, lots of coffee dyed paper um, and lots of tuck spots or little pockets to put your things in. Um, another index card. Lots of blank paper. This is the other half of that note card. Uh, this is a little journaling card. This is a little quote. You can discover more about a person in an hour of play than in a year of conversation by Plato. I got a, a quote a day calendar, so there's some of them I really like, so I'm gonna put that in there. Another doily, another tux or pocket, I guess. Keep calling them tuck spots, but I guess they're pockets. And a little journaling card in there. A little tag in the side. And again, they open up so there's spots to journal inside here as well. There are also, you can open up, you can journal underneath as well. A little steampunk a hot air balloon. And another bit of doily. The back of the signature. This is our next signature. This one's an embossed paper. That's the owl again, and the doily. This is the next one of the altered paper clips. Hopefully you can see that. It's a little dragonfly and uh, music note stamps, and the back is just words. Uh, a couple more journaling cards. It's a little sewing on it. It's coffee dyed on the back. More of the Al Capone playing cards with the gesso on so they can be written on. A little bit of stamping. Same, another one of those uh, pockets with the tuck journaling cards. Um, this one, did I have open? No, this one doesn't open. This one it just goes that way. Some uh, ledger paper. I always love the ledger paper. Uh, more stamping. More little pocket, the tag, more journaling card, index cards. It's pretty well ever signature is pretty close to the same tuck spot. Lots of journaling cards. There's your envelope in the middle. It's got just a coffee dyed index card in it. Yeah, I like this little stamp, the elixir and the tonic. More stamping, more little journaling cards, little tuck, the doily, and I really like the look of that when you just tear open a piece of cardboard, and it works well. Another tuck spot, another journaling card, the other half of that index paper, or ledger paper, sorry. Same tuck, lots of doing. I really like this paper. I believe it's Tim Holtz. I think it's really neat. Um, there's another of the envelopes that are recycled envelopes. Used to get a lot of these envelopes uh, from the bank and uh, kind of wanted to, to use them instead of just throwing them out every month because we pay our bills online, but they kept sending us envelopes. So had to find a way to use it. And there's another one of the altered paper clips. And that one just has a circle on the back. Another one of those pockets and a tuck spot on the side. This one doesn't open. Uh, stamping, another one of those spots for tuck. Get in there, there we go. Another little sewing card. Another index card. Uh, this one here, I took the doily, I folded it in half, so there's a little pocket inside there. So there's a little journaling card stuck in there. And this little envelope, it, I slit the top, so you've got a card in there. And sewing on that one as well. Another envelope and a journaling card in this one. Lots of room to keep little 
itsy bitsy stuff that you need, want to keep. This one is the other half of that envelope. And again, it's open at the top. Now this is a paint chip from um, Bear Paints. We got, I got it at the Home Depot in town. And I just love the shape of these. They, uh, I don't know, just teardrop eye, eye shape. It's just really cute. And I love this color. So of course, I had to borrow a whole bunch from there. Pretend I was painting and put a few in my journals. There, there's the other half of the doily with the tuck spot. Another tuck spot here with your journaling card. Little index card. And this tuck spot, another journaling card. This is um, pattern paper. And well, there's sewn on it and there's some paints. I was doing some stuff. I'm just using it to wipe off, clean off my paint brushes. So, and it ended up being pretty with the copper on it. So I decided to sew it on there. So you've got a journaling card. And of course the pocket there. Another little tuck spot. Um, this is one of the local artists in town and uh, she her business card is a bookmark. So I've included that and uh, just just it on the back so you can write on top of it if you like. But that's just slipped in there. And more tuck here. More of that paper. Um, another envelope from the bank. And, oh, that one's empty. And more die cuts there. More die cuts on this side. So next signature. And they're all very similar. I tried to keep each signature quite similar. Um, it's another journal card. Uh, Daft is the one I picked for the word for this one. Silly, innocent, idiotic, lunatic, lightheaded, cracked. Sometimes I feel very daft, so I thought that would be a cute one for the book. So it's good for journaling on the back. And another one of those uh, quote a day. This one is, I have found that most people are about as happy as they make up their minds to be. And that's from Lincoln Alex, uh, Abraham Lincoln, sorry. Fit into there. And that's another note card, that's the back fit. And there's another one of the pa altered paper clips. Another journaling card. Another one of those uh, little pockets on this side, tuck spot on here, and then this opens here, and this opens here, so lots of room. Another one of those uh, toilet paper roll for the index, or sorry, a shipping tag to slip into. Just right size for the shipping tags. And this envelope here. Another note card in there. Another tuck spot here. More tucks. Uh, more index cards. Another one of those. Uh, there's card in here. Tuck in here. And this one opens and this one opens. So lots of extra spots to write in it. Um, tuck spot here. It's the back of that note card. Lots of journaling cards. A little bit of sewing on there. Index card. I love the doily, the way the doily resists when you coffee dye and you lay the doily on top when you're coffee dyeing. It just, to me, it looks really, really pretty. More of that paper. This is the last altered paper clip. There's the back of it. Another tuck, tuck. Another tuck in here, a little bit of sewing on that journal card. Another bank envelope, open up, stuff to put in there, a couple of tucks, another one of those, um, oh sorry, we'll do this one first, this is another one of the pockets with the doily, and this one opens this way, tuck, and ship and tag, and there's another spot there. And your final envelope and a few numbers cut, cut up for in there. Next little key, another uh, 
journaling card. Again, this opens and opens. And that's your other spot there. This is another journaling card. Kind of like learning, doing the sewing machine. I haven't sewed so, uh, for many, many years, so it was kind of neat trying the sewing card. Another um, one of those playing cards, Al Capone. A couple of die cuts there, a couple of die cuts over here. Another pocket, or tuck spot. Another one of those papers. And finally, your balloon, and at the very back, you've got another journaling card, because you've got a tuck spot at the back, and you've got a little book plate the, this book belongs to, and a spot to put your name, and then create the memories, which is uh, my sort of company, I guess, my crafty thing. Now, currently, the book, it will open flat, but it, uh, you know, there's a lot of stuff in it right now. But you can do a lot of writing. It is designed to to write. There's a lot of uh, spot for writing. Um, I'm not sure how I'm going to be selling this yet. Um, I might put it at a market this weekend. Um, and if it doesn't sell there, or if I decide not to do that, then I will try and figure out how to sell it online. Anyway, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll be able to show you a few, a few more. I have another one coming. Oh. That is a rose note, which is a very similar cover, and it's a lot more feminine, and I will show that in my next video. Thank you. Bye.